In this tutorial, we are going to talk about adding annotations and measurements to your mechanical design in SimLab Composer, and how you can manage the measurements to create a professional presentation that facilitates communicating and sharing your design. Go to the Create menu and select Annotations. The Plane Selection dialog will appear. In this dialog, we are going to determine the plane on which we are going to create the annotations. Selecting the proper plane for the annotations creation is crucial in terms of where the annotations will be projected for viewing. Since we are going to add measurements for the front side of the design, we need to select XZ plane or simply click on a parallel face to the front view. Click on a parallel face and notice that a blue arrow has been created in the place of picking, displaying the normal of the plane you selected. Notice also that the grid has been rotated to match the plane you selected for annotation creation. Aside from picking a plane from the 3D area, you can determine the plane by selecting one of the principal planes in SimLab Composer. You also have the option to offset the plane you have selected parallel to its axis. Click OK to set the plane and initiate the annotations creation dialog window. SimLab Composer allows you to create several types of annotations. The Linear Dimension tool measures the projected distance between two points on the principal axis, while the Align Dimension tool measures the distance between two points in space without projecting their location on a principal axis. The Radial Dimension tool measures the radius of circles and arcs in the design. The Angular Dimension tool can measure the angle between two intersecting lines. And the Leader Annotation tool allows you to add custom text with a pointer to the design. Click on Linear Dimension. To measure the width of a gap in the base of the motor, click on the edge of the gap to set the first point. Then click on the edge to the right to set the second point of measurement. Move the cursor to determine the position of the annotation and click to confirm it. Click on the Align Dimension tool and measure the width of the electric box. Now measure the electric box's width using the Linear Dimension tool. The Align Dimension tool will measure the distance between two points without projecting the values to the principal axis, which can be useful in measuring diagonal surfaces and edges. Select the Radial Dimension tool and click on the edge of the rotating rod to measure its radius. Click again to set the length of the annotations indicator, and by moving the cursor determine the length and orientation of the measurements text. You can change the measurement unit used from the annotation dialog box. Select a measurement unit that is suitable for your design, and since this mechanical design is relatively small, setting it to centimeters would be fine. Click on the Angular Dimension tool and click on an edge to set the first line, and then click on another intersecting line to measure the angle between them. Create a leader annotation and click on a surface or an object to create an indicator pointing towards it. Click several times in the 3D area while moving the cursor to determine the path of the indicator for the leader annotation. Then click on the green mark to confirm its location. Click on the newly created leader annotation and from the Attributes panel to the right, change its caption. You can also change the size of the annotation as well as the color. Those adjustable attributes apply to all types of annotations in SimLab Composer. The leader annotation is a great tool that allows you to add notes and identities to your design. In the Object Tree panel to the left, select all the annotations you have created. Then right-click and select Create Parent. Change the name of the newly created group to Front Annotations. Arranging the annotation into groups allows you to have better management and control over those annotations. Hide the first annotations group by clicking on the Visibility icon, or by pressing H on your keyboard. Let's move on to creating annotation to the top view. 
Hide the electric box in the main hall to reveal the internal elements of the motor. And click on Edit Plane from the Annotations Creation window. Click on a face parallel to the top view and click OK. Change the annotation color from the annotation window. Changing the annotation color from the dialog window predefines the color of the annotations that will be created. Instead of changing the color of each annotation one by one after they have been created, you can change the color of those annotations prior to their creation. To measure the length of the rotating rod, select the Linear Measurement tool, then change the picking type to Center of Curvature, since the ends of the rod are made of loops and not edges, and click on the loop at the far end of the rod to set the first point, then click on the opposing loop to set the second point. Once you are done with creating annotations in the top view, select the recently created annotations and right-click in the object tree and select Add Parent. Then rename the parent group to Top Annotations. Now that all the annotations in the scene are grouped according to their corresponding view, you can hide and show them as needed. Select the motor group from the object tree and press S on your keyboard to display the hidden geometries in that group. Hide the top annotations group. Set the camera to a front view and switch to parallel instead of perspective. Then go to the Scene States menu and select Capture. Scene States allow you to capture several attributes from the scene and store them. When the captured scene states are activated, it will reapply all the attributes it stored back into the scene. To see how scene states can synergize with annotations, make sure that the visibility and camera options are included in the scene state and click Capture from Scene. Switch to a top parallel view. Hide the electric box in the hall and click on Capture Scene States again. Go to the Scene States tab in the panel at the bottom and you will find the captured scene states there. Drag the thumbnail of the scene state to the scene to apply it. Reveal all the objects and annotations in the scene. Set the camera to a perspective view and click Capture from Scene to create a third scene state. Click on the first scene state and from the Attributes panel to the right, rename it to Front. Select the second scene state and name it Top. And name the third scene state Perspective. To export the 3D design along with the measurements and scene states as a 3D PDF document, from the File menu click on the 3D PDF settings. Create a new template for the 3D PDF. Set the size of the PDF and click OK. Add the 3D area where the design will be displayed. Using the red draggers, determine the size and shape of the 3D area. Click on the text icon to add text to the template and add a title to the template. Create another text and type in Front Annotations. 
and set the size and font for it, then click OK. Press Ctrl and C, then Ctrl and V on your keyboard to duplicate the text. Slide the duplicate to the right and double click on it to edit it and type in Top Annotations. Duplicate the text one more time and type in Perspective. Select the front annotations text and from the text attributes to the left, set the type to scene states. Setting the text type to a scene state will turn the text into a button that will apply scene states when clicked. Type in the name of the scene state exactly as created in SimLab Composer. For the front annotations view, we name the scene state front, so we type front in the box. Change the type for the second text to scene state as well and type the name top. Follow the same steps to connect the perspective text to its corresponding scene state as well. Save the created template and close the template editor. Then click refresh and select the template you created and click export. Set the location and the file name for the PDF you are about to create and click Save. Make sure that you have all the scene states that you need checked and click OK. The use of annotations in combination with scene states in a 3D PDF document results in creating a unique presentation where you can visually channel your ideas to others without much effort.